Hey you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 as Savory Savoy. My god, our manpower's nearly maxed out. We're itching for some warfare. Um, even though a lot of our aggressive expansion has gone away, so something could definitely start relatively soon. Um, including, I mean, do we just jump on, uh, on Genoa? I don't know. You know what? We don't need more claims on, on Milan. That's fine. We need to jump over here. No one would help you out. Um, you do still have some territory over here. Yeah, that is Genoan. It could be really interesting. What if we decided to vassalize them? <clears throat> we would eventually inherit territory over here. Is that something we want? Is it just going to bring us into stupid, pointless wars? I mean, that's a powerful trade center. We can use this to send more trade to Constantinople, which could then flow to Ragusa, which would then pull into Genoa. Maybe? I don't know how worthwhile it is. And it might, like, if they declare war on us, get, us getting troops over there would be really annoying. I think we'll just, uh, we'll just annex the one province and then call that good enough. Just get in position over here and basically be ready to pounce. A very valuable province. There's going to be a fair amount of aggressive expansion. Provence, it's... Listen, it, mu it, it, must, be, uh, it must be August because uh, Provence is being excommunicated again. Trade League disbanded. And... Yeah, that, that's going to be good enough. Declare war. Ally to Cyprus. Boom. Boom. Mash. Now, do we take Cyprus? I mean, perhaps... I'm going to move you here to Siege, and I'm going to build up some cogs. We don't have any sailors. But we are, we're going to have to build some of the sailing buildings. We'll siege this out first. Uh, wait. Oh, the Cyprus. Oh, did they not join in? Oh. Yeah, they're Cyprus. They didn't actually join in the war. Okay, well then, I guess that answers that question. Uh, so with that in mind, let's cancel the transports. We might still want them for some stuff at some point, but we don't really need them right now. Apparently we can get another light ship, though, and be below our element. We might build above that, too. We'll see. I'll keep this fleet together. We could have some dock to save money, but we'll see. I could lose a military advisor. 48 maintenance modifier banish him, or lose loyalty. He might still betray us. Or the other way around. Um, hmm. Banish you. I don't think it matters one way or another. Oh, we don't have a cheapo one. Well, that's too bad. It's okay. We can use the money to improve our territory instead. All right. We want three stability. A little difficult. Now you want the manpower boosted. This, um... Okay, hold on. Uh, spare known expense is fine. Ligurian C, 30% trade power. Interesting, it says Ligurian C instead of Genoan trade node. That's possible. Um, gain loyalty would give us half price level two trader. And what's the reward? A bit of a manpower injection. I don't know. None of these are particularly tempting. Tell you what, I'll take this one because eventually we'll get the 30%. Basically a freebie. We're going to get there. Moving our ships back out might do it. Well, once we own Genoa. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be there. Like. Yeah. And then once we get our ships going again, we're really going to be looking for something like 50% trade power. Uh, so I'm going to repay this. Oh, right. Um, but we are over 2% inflation. So I'm going to reduce the inflation. Um, I'll do some more repay over here, and we'll have to extend you, and we'll have to extend you. But that's going to have to be okay. Um, I'm going to hit this button now, because we're going we're gonna to hit the cap. I could do some more mercantilism. I think I will just do this. Okay. Um, that will... 
keep our corruption ticking away because of the ahead of time. If we get ahead of time and admin too, that'd be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. I suppose I don't need everyone over here. I can take like half of the infantry, move them out to save some attrition. I gotta remember that. France wants military access. Sure, France. Mostly because we want to keep the mood with you as good as possible. We don't have the money to build. We don't really have sailors either, actually. Once we start um, protecting trade, there is some natural sailor attrition. So that might actually become a bit of an issue. Marguerite. Ooh, thank you for the admin power. Cheers to that. So yeah, I want the um, I want the force limit things, but we may have to um, we may have to build the sailor buildings first. It's only really an issue that you notice when your like your sea axis is fairly small given the size of your country and your economic resources. That's when you tend to run into not enough sailors given the amount of ships I could build through other means. Not that your income is spectacular right now, but we are at war, so that's part of it. We still have a fair amount of autonomy in a lot of the places. Our economy is going to go up a lot more as these things de-atomize. This, I believe, Liguria is already one of our states. Yeah. So we'll do a full coring on you. Well, at least we get some progress. That's going to help. And that's going to finish another mission for us. And then I think the Genoan mission does it just give us a bunch more claims. Conquer Genoa. Yeah, it gives us a ton more permanent claims. You just done. Um, we'll do that. I don't know why we're not at 100%. Oh, because there's still the province on the other side of the world there. Hey, there we go. We already got the 30% trade power. So, all we're looking to do is eat this. Do this. Coalition status is going to be manageable-ish because of truces. Although, again, I could just vassalize. I don't know. I mean, you'd be pretty easy to integrate later on. Crimea and Caucasia both have claims on this. No, I'm just I'm just gonna eat the one province and call that good enough. Um, you can uh, give me some war reps. You're not gonna have much in the end. Um, I can get you to give up some claims because it costs me nothing. There you go. You get a little bit more prestige out of it. So you're gonna give me that. You're gonna give me some of your money. Done. Okay. Start coring that. Um, complete the mission of conquering Genoa. Give me a ton of claims. The rest of this is... Oh yeah, finishing Switzerland. And then it moves us into Burgundy. And then conquering Burgundy. If we want to keep doing that. Troops over here, we'll just uh, group you up. And you're going to core. And... Rebellion might be a bit of an issue, although it'll take a while for it to count up. Uh, well, Milanese is up to 60%. Where are you going to pop? Probably in Como. Hey, what? Let's move over here. Let's force it. I'm going to keep my forts up for a bit. Although it's not going to really matter because we're going to be here. Let's provoke these guys. Excellent. And the others are pretty low, so what I'll probably do is just go and drill for a little while. Uh, you are going to protect trade in Genoa. And I'll put on the go-home-at-war thing again, because we don't know what the next war will be. There's some more advisors. Um, we could go manpower. I think I'm just going to do the, uh, the land maintenance. Again, try to keep him paying for himself a little bit. Right now our costs are a little high because we're doing um, reinforcements. Iberian Wedding. Oh shit. I was later than expected. I wasn't looking at the uh, the leader situation. That's a damn shame. That that makes this so much worse. So much worse. Hey Burgundy, what's up? Come at me. Um, let's lower my forts. 
I mean, they could start some stuff, but I'm still not too worried. I mean, the thing is, we can wait on this. It's not like I'm in a hurry to change to a terrible, terrible color and the worst flag and a name that's too long so it makes our font look bad. I mean, we want it at some point, but it wouldn't actually increase our power that much. Um, it's not like it's even that valuable in the trade situation. We're up to 33% over here, which is kind of nice to see. We are the tops. Florence is the next one. We don't have a merchant here, which is fine. We are transferring trade. Oh, we do have a merchant in Alexandria who is trying to help push trade towards Genoa. That's fine. Um, and then in Champagne as well, because we do have a fair amount of power. That's okay, too. Okay, one day it'd be nice to go Constantinople into Ragusa, into Genoa, but that's not really where we're at at this time. Once we get trade ideas, we should be able to do a lot more that way. And once our naval force limit goes up a lot as well. This is a while before the loans will come up again. So, yeah, we need, um, we need sailors. It's not, it's not optional. We need to build the, the sailor buildings. You're going to be out of building slots after this. Which, I think we're going to want at least the, uh, we're also going to want the, um, uh, the naval force limit building, so we'll probably spend to improve you. France is a permanent claim over there. One day we're going to have some issues. Do I want to do the policy? I mean, we have to do it nine times. Unless I just remove something else. Actually, like, remove the church, for example. Yeah. I mean, we had a mission for that one. So it was like, spend 90 to get um, a plus one base tax, which is the same as spending 69 in min power. Or it was probably 67 or 65 or something, but still. So we spent 90 gold. To effectively, you know, convert into admin power. So that's not too shabby. My diplomats are all idle. Um, let me send one to allies, one to outrage countries, just to see what they'll do for a little bit for us, because I don't think we have to fabricate any claims. Unless... Unless we want to consider taking a preemptive crack at Burgundy. We still have a lot of aggressive expansion right now, so maybe not, but we could fabricate against them and have it as an option. You know what, maybe instead of this part, I'll still, I'll still, you know, send some people to some of the outrage people. There might be some relationships. France is the papal controller. That's fine. Um, yeah, build spy network. We're gonna put some claims on Burgundy. We'll get permanent claims later, but only later. Do we want a fort over here? It is on the border of some of the Italian states, and it's in the hills at least, which isn't too bad means we don't have any more spaces to improve anything here. It's starting to be a lot of forts. I think I'm actually going to get rid of the castle in Genoa. It'll save us some money. It'll open up another slot for some buildings. And I don't think we need a fort over there. We've got we've got a lot of defensive places for people to a siege. does mean there's a fair amount of flexibility of movement over here, but it's not too bad. If we get Parma, Parma becomes a better place for a fort. It borders more things. Still protects Genova. Yeah, that's actually going to be really nice, I think. Um, so we're no longer ahead of time on military. The next level um, does make our cavalry a lot better. Uh, so we may want to start folding that back in. But we can sort of live without that for now. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and just develop this. Morale and navies is fine. And if we do just rush to the end of this and get that 5% discipline, it's not too shabby. Yeah, the next level is good, but it's not the most critical. It's not another unit type, and it's not um, uh, it's not more military tactics. It's a huge boost to cavalry, which we're not currently using anyway. So maybe it's all good. Austria doesn't mind too much. Burgundy could. And France could get worse. Provence could get worse. Yeah, I mean, sitting on our hands. God, I hate doing it, but I think it's the right thing to do. How's our force limit situation? Yeah, we can definitely go up. Um, I think I will build up the cannon count here. Seven doesn't do anything for us. I mean, cannons are still pretty good at, at smashing things, but mostly I was thinking about getting another siege pip. Bringing it up to five means um, just capital forts, like level one forts, would be maxed out. But six is another one for like a level two fort. Genoa is now cord. Awesome. No, over, no more overextension. Even the autonomy is not that high over here. Such a high value province. That's going to help our situation here a lot. The tax money is currently pretty high. Now, some of it 
is from war reparations, but actually barely. So our trade is going crazy. Our taxation is still higher than our trade. Oh, Protestant Reformation. Okay, I want to become Protestant. Pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Let's totally do it, you guys. So lose a hundred prestige. But I think it's going to be amazing and powerful for us. It's risky. Let's not deny it. It's risky. But no, let's do it. Now, if I could get a converter dude, which I think is under admin, that would be useful. We don't got it now. Um, if we do this, okay, we can run this for now because I think I can recall it later. I'm going to run it for now. For the missionary strength. Because that 0.5% makes a big difference. Maybe I can't recall it. Oh well. I mean, the institution spread penalty kind of sucks, but we've got a lot of conversion due now. Some of the conversion will happen automatically. Actually, what I should do is I should be checking. So it happened in Saluzzo. Um, you're auto-converting. And we are... In Veles. So it is here, yeah. Okay, so we're... we're yeah, there it is. So we're going over here. So we want to avoid spending any effort converting over here because it should be the stuff that auto converts the earliest. Now, part of me kind of wishes maybe the center of Reformation was closer to the border here so it would spread to some other people a little bit more. This is a little far to, to convert anyone. It might hit some of the French territory, which would be interesting to see how that goes. Bohemia's... Mm-hmm. Protestant Center of Reformation right here. That is going to spread to a lot of dudes. It'll be interesting to see how things swing by. Now, let's take a quick look over here at our ideas. So, in theory... Um, a Crush of Vaudois right here. So, it turned into uh, Missionary Strength. I think that was the one that used to give us... Was going to give us uh, Pape Points. Papal Influence. But... Um, I think it's just this, which is fine. And then the other thing is, how's this? Center of belief. Church power three, number of church aspects is three. Okay, so yeah, we can we can run on that. We got a permanent claim on Cyprus. Okay, sure, fine. All right. But we are going to have a much harder time politically now because a lot of our neighbors won't like us for being an, a heretic. And minus 40. It's worse with France because we're actually like bordering. It's minus 20 over here, because we're not actually on a border. Poland's got a golden age. Good for them. Seize land. Yep, I can absolutely hit this button, and will do. There you go. I mean, we want to keep their loyalty up, too, but mostly I just want a ton of land for myself. I don't know if we start getting bonuses, but what's nice at 40, it means there's certain things I can pass that would cost me. For example, the plus points, right? Um... Do I not have... Oh, there's the admin one. There it is. Plus one admin points. So, I should probably run this. So, I'll lose 10 land, but then I'm getting power. Let's do that. Okay. We're exactly 30. No penalties. But more monarch power, which is gorgeous. Especially, we're still finishing these ideas, and we're no longer ahead of time on military. So, it's, you know... Very well liked. Plus, there's usually... I mean, I guess if you have too much military power, all you can do, I mean, you can boost your legitimacy, or you do a little development, which is totally okay. You know, hurts when you're not, you know, teching or developing an idea, but it's not like we don't have things to do. And maybe I should have done more development instead of mercantilism. In fact, I think that would have been a way better dump for our points, our excess diplo power. Now, good news is we're going to hit excess diplo power again, so it's not a big deal. Sure, that's fine. And Burgundy will be able to fabricate some claims on you shortly. I might I might stick around here and do two. We'll see. Not going to start a war right now, though, because our, um, our aggressive expansion is crazy bad. Oh, I have tons of money. Oh, right, because we dissolved the, um, the monasteries. Let me, uh, let me repay the rest of the loans so I don't have to renew them. Um... And then buildings, first of all, let's just check for high value ones with production and taxes. No. What about with trade? Nothing crazy right now. There's still some development that we want to do, but 
Yeah, we're sitting at zero sailors right now. So our ships are being effectively attritioned on the mission. Um, what I think I'm going to do, let me stop you. Um, I'll split off the light ships. I'll give you the mission to protect trade and do that. And then the rest of the ships I will just bring home and mothball you. So you're not consuming any more sailors. Yeah. Also, get we could get rid of the heavy. Um, Brescia's way over here. That's quite far away from things. So that's going to be okay. We'll run you. I mean, right now our internal stability is not going to be great because we have no religious unity. Um, as I say, I can't select the thing right now yet because I need 100. Okay. Yes? Yeah, I don't see any reason to wait. The discount might be able to get further, except, wow, we still have a minus 10. Um, I think the next idea group is going to be innovative. Uh, I mean, I can switch it again here because we're not going to be investing in anything. But Innovator's got some great stuff in here. That sounds really cool. You know, tech discount, institution. Um, and then we can get a great plus 10% infantry strength from that. And Innovative also helps with institution spread later on. Like, it's a really high value choice. Let's mothball you. Brain 14, only use 11. Okay, there we go. We're going to come out ahead. Go oh, auto trans, um, our, our auto conversions. That's one of the things. If you want to go Protestant, you really want to have one of the centers of reformation in your territory because um, you, you know, the auto conversion is going to save your bacon like crazy. It's going to make a big difference. I don't think. Um, short of getting a dude in uh, in here, I guess there's nothing we can do to convert faster. Protestantism entrenched. While Protestantism taking over more and more of the Catholic countries, there are fewer people who observe Lent. Without the 40 days when any proper Catholic cannot eat meat and is forced to eat fish, the demand for fish is plummeting. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, there's not that many Protestants yet. And the Peasants' War in Morocco. Okay. Any more of the world? Not that much more we know about. I think we may not have known about this coast before with Japan, but this is about the same as it was a few videos ago, and I think this is about the same as well. That's some, yeah, they've had some rebellion issues for a little while here. Uh, yet, yet, yet. Okay, I don't think I can run the next one right now, though. Nope, not. Keep drilling here. Although it could lower you for a while, but our money is pretty good. I think, I think it's definitely worth continuing to drill there. Declining power of the nobility. They're losing some influence. Okay, fine. Um, I'd like to build more ships. I guess I've got some sailors accumulating. Okay, let's build a couple more. And theoretically, our sailor count continues to go up. Building spy networks. Right, we're working on various outraged things, which, I mean... It's actually less outraged. Hold on. It's threatening is who I might want to suck up to. Not... not outraged, threatening countries, which includes some of my allies. Okay, that's that's fine. That's actually what I meant to do. I don't really care about placating people who don't like me, unless they're scary. Conversions in Brescia, uh, that's okay. We're not going to do this. Um, we can do Como. Oh, that's so much more expensive. Vado. Vado's up here as well. Where's Vado? Oh, there! There we go. I knew it was somewhere up there. Um, so that's far from the center of trade, and it's relatively cheap, so we'll do that as well. Okay. The uh, price is based on the development, so ultimately we're going to have to do more expensive ones anyway. But hopefully we can get another um, boost to the speed at which we do it. I mean, eight months isn't that long, luckily. Um, and we do have the money for it, but if we can get more modifiers to shorten the time it takes to convert things... That would be better. I don't think it changes the cost per month, but if it's fewer months, then, you know, that's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm mostly going to try to work on the top. I guess I can uh, I can just hit these buttons to do some conversions as well. Mitch manually pick them from the map. Yeah. Eight months, yeah. So expensive, but it's got, it's got a fair amount of development. I mean, it doesn't have the most in the universe. Swiss separatists. And, oh, they actually do want to cause some trouble here. Okay, well, let's move on up. Auto conversions are a go. They might, they might finish the siege, which would be very annoying. 
Um, I mean, I can lift this. Yeah, because they would then guard it. Oh, that's so frustrating. Plus the separatism, which is actually the thing that annoys me the most. The resieging we can sort of live without, although hopefully we get there before... I don't know. I don't think they will, so we'll be the attacker into the hills. We do have a pretty big number advantage, but... Yeah, that's actually really frustrating. I think we're going to be fine, but everything about that sucked. Yeah, that was really miserable. Although, um, they probably don't have a lot garrisoning, right? Yeah, zero. So as soon as we get a breach, we can assault. Like, why do we even have to siege it? There's no one inside the castle. Oh, there it goes. Maybe... Maybe that's exactly what happened. Okay. Um, I might want to leave this one up, actually. There might be more Separatists. It's also really good protection against a lot of angles. I think I will leave the Fort in Berna up. Yeah. Power 5, 6. So yeah, this will go up better when we get more Religious Unity. Or Monarch Power. Religious Unity we're working on. Keep drilling for now. How's the professionalism? Eh, not that high. Two free base tax. Thanks. Convert. So again, we're looking for... Yeah, I mean, we'll do this one. Eight months is still short. It's expensive, but it's it's short, and we know it's far away from the, uh, the Protestant centers, so... We're not going to get a freebie there anytime soon. England's golden Aaron. Everyone's just trying to sneak it in before the end of the era of discovery. We haven't discovered that much. Well, some people discovered some things. They just haven't spread all the maps to us. That's fine. I don't think a colonization game is really in the cards. Um, you, we can fabricate claims on Salintz over here. And then we can just stop building the spy network. That is fine and dandy. How's our aggressive expansion sitting? There's still some people who would coalition us, but the big things is, like, Austria and France, as long as we keep that fairly low, it's going to be fine. And we may not want to start it while we're at war. We still have a truce with Milan. Yeah, we don't have any just any green stripes. Um, what I might want to do, let's fabricate a claim on Luca. <coughs> I don't think I can fabricate one on Modena, because we don't have anything bordering each other. Um, I think we've got the claims on Florence, right? Well, oh no, we don't actually have it, because we had it through there. We'll probably redo it there. Um, I guess I can't just sit on this. We're going to have to push one of these buttons regardless. Well, if we do this, we can chain some claims in kind of a fun way. Let me cancel improving relations with the Ottomans, which is happening just because they were one of the threatening ones. But I mean, like, fair enough, I guess. But we'll build a spy network over here. And I think I'm pleased with this. Alright, sailor count continues to go up, which is nice. Rebellion uprising in Provence, which is totally fine. In fact, we might um, provoke you. Let's go, uh, let's go stand in one of these hills. Um, you'll get attrition there. Let's stand in these hills. We want to wait for your uh, morale to get back up. I'm going to keep hitting these buttons. Yeah, I mean, finishing this is a pretty big boost, and we're very close. Versions in burn. So we'll do this one here. Eight months. Okay, good. Still nice and short. At least, like, we've got a lot of bonuses to conversion rates right now. So at least we've got that going on. All right, let's... There we go. That's going to be good enough. Um, Provence, we're going to provoke your re revolt. And you're there, which I think is flat land, although we'll have to cross... Oh, it is a, it is a hill. So we're going to be fine, but it's a little bit more painful than it could have been. Done, done, done. Uh, we could consolidate, but I don't think there's any reason to do that. Um, Genoese Separatists. So let's just go and sit on Genova, because that's definitely where they'll spawn. I guess they could spawn here, too. But I think it's based on, like, current rebellion size and whatnot, so we'll just give them an extra tick of reinforcements here. There we go. And now we'll provoke this. 
There it is. Right there. And but we get the hills. So that becomes much, much easier. Um, and then the Catholic Zealots aren't gonna rebellion for some time now. These are all 27, 26. Alright, stand there. And we'll just get you to drill here. Three conversions. Hooray hurrah! How's our unity coming along? 37%. And how's the map situation looking? Still pretty yellow. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And yeah, I'll maintain this up for now. That's going to be okay. We're doing a lot of reinforcements right now, so our income's dropped a little bit, but that's okay. Brunswick is staying as the Emperor, like, pretty solidly. There you go. Crimea finishing up Genoa over there. Pfft. Crimea River over that. Italian Civil War, closer to Portugal. Aragon's still a junior partner, which is a little bit annoying. That was my manual conversions over there. Yeah, I'll do this. It's eight months. Expensive, but eight months. <laughs> Double spy network being built. Double spy network all the way, man. How's our fleet? What's our force limit? Okay, we're at it. We could go over, and I think I will. I'm going to queue up five more ships over here. Now, our naval force limit will improve a little bit. Okay, our general's dead, which means we can't drill anymore. We could spawn a new general, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the maintenance for now. And say, you know what, that's okay. Um, I'm going to split you in two because you are going to get attrition because you don't have anyone with maneuver. Witch trials in Vado. Transition from Roman Catholic to local church. Worked well, but some areas. Bah, bah, bah. We can condone the trials, which gives us uh, church power. We get some unrest, but that's okay. We could ignore it. We, I'm not going to lose trials. Or lose church power. No, I need church power. Yeah, we'll condone them. Be nice to condemn. But I guess condone is the way we're going to go. Very rude. Very mean. I've got all that. We don't really care about Provence anymore. They're a rival, but do they matter that much? Oh, we're below 50. Okay, hold on. I'm not currently embarked. Oh, I need to get my spies going. Uh, I guess I gotta put a cut in here, but I have to remember to fix a few things in the power projection. And we can do a regular insult as well. Well, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna let eh, I, I could pull you away and then put you back. But no, I wanna finish these. So I'll try to remember to do rival stuff in the next episode. Folks, thanks for watching another one. Um, how's our aggressive expansion? It'd be great. There might be another list somewhere we can quickly see aggressive expansion. It's almost gone with Austria, with France. Castile doesn't give a crap. Uh, Naples does a wee bit more. You're allied to France and Venice. You know what we want to do? War Venice. And maybe... Uh, it would be really hard to actually invade Naples. We'd have to have a lot of walking rights. Yeah, I don't know. Man, too, we don't have a CB against you. You'd also bring in Venice. That actually would be kind of nice. Maybe that'll be the thing. We'll see. We'll see next time. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.